to the Indian Empire. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Victoria 2. Yeah, I just said the time. I just said the name of the of the nation, so I'm not gonna say it again. So, anyways, guys, um, we are back here in this let's play of Austinist where I got some important news for you guys that will probably won't affect you. Well, you probably will be affected, but you won't be as affected as you may seem. Um, basically, what happened, guys, is I now have a timer. I now have an official timer a stopwatch for my phone, a phone app, which took me a long time to get. Like, I was extremely lazy about this. But I finally have it, so... Yeah, we're gonna start using it more, so that we can actually start doing stuff. Like, actually doing stuff. Like, actually doing stuff. I mean, legitimately, I'm not, I'm not like... Ugh. Basically, I got it because I wanted to regulate my videos a little bit more so that we don't have all these, like, 26, 37, 45 videos. We can actually start, like, legitly, you know, time-orienting everything and keep this more of a cohesive, you know, thing. But, anyways, while we're also keeping everything, you know, time-oriented, I mean, the timing... I mean, we have to match timing, everyone. Timing is very important. But, anyways, now that we're matching time, it's very important that we kill off all these rebels. <laughs> I'm calling them rebels now because I don't even get to them a nation. Okay. You guys, go kill them. Go kill them. We have to go kill all these guys off. Wow, there's still so many of them. Okay, let's go right here. Okay. Are they going to where I'm thinking? Okay. So Russia's almost dealt with all the problems over here. We just have to deal with all the problems over there and we should be good. That should be the last invasion. This is the last pitiful invasion of China. And then we basically have all of China inside of our sphere. Which is going to be awesome. But first we have to get them un under our power. I mean, right now, right now India is trying to expand to, Mo to Mongol. And we're also going to be expanding into Turkey. That gives us a little bit of touching power to all these other places. Dang, who is this? is in sphere you what how'd you get the united states okay united states you are expanding all over yeah they're the big spandos and russia should be expanding but right now they're getting kicked the butt ah uh, never mind anyways guys let's get back to the war um i really got i really gotta stop focusing in on this next front okay so right now they're going instantly after one of my soldiers um how are we good okay we're not good these guys are not good do I have any soldiers that I'd be willing and able to attack? Okay, let me try these guys. Nope, we're doomed. Um, would it be worth it to... See, it's it's not worth it. We don't have any... Retreat. It's not worth... It's not worth going... Ah, oh, shoot. Never mind. Send in everyone. <laughs> I'm not going to lose those guys because of some stupid German fever. Okay, and they're not sending any of their guys to come help them, so I know we're going to win that battle pretty easily. Because I will keep sending men into that battle until we win. Which will eventually kill off all my reserves and manpower and blah 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 blah. But it will be worth it. That's the... I guess that's... I guess... I guess it's the bottom line of sacrifice, everyone. It's just... Eventually, in the end, you just have to think it's going to be worth it. Otherwise, what the heck were we fighting for? Yeah, that, that, that kind of got dark, but... You know, it... It's kind of truth. Like, why am I going through all this, you know, pain and intolerance to fight a nation that is clearly more powerful than me? But, yeah, you know, this is a good philosophical question. I'm kind of, like, now I'm kind of wondering, what would be the point of this? Like, we as strategic gamers kind of take this for granted, but what's the real point of this? What's the point? Well, I know why I do it personally. You know, I know why I go in and go try to take over nations. Well, actually, I don't really. Why do I go try to take over nations? Why do I try to be the most, you know, aggressive? Ah, oh, shoot. We have absolutely no cannons in that group, so it's going to die pretty quickly. So any cannons? No cannons. Really, I have no good... Okay, you guys go in. But, yeah, you know, it's just kind of like that. Like, why do we... Okay, good. All right. Go right there. Go right there. Chase them down. Chase them. Let's see. Bolshevik. Let's see. They will arrive in... Will arrive in Bolshevika. Everyone go there. We're just going to keep nailing this one force. Keep these guys out here. But yeah. Like, why do we want to kill people? Why do we want to command a nation of powerfulness? Why do we want to attack them? Why do we want to do this? Why do we want to do that? Why, why do we? Like, you know, this... 
I, I kind of noticed this fact. This does kind of benefit me in some ways, but in a lot of ways, this is just me just having mindless fun. And, you know, maybe, I guess some could argue I may be doing this for, um, therapeutic reasons. Maybe I get some of my aggression out on this, on all these, like, little nations. Maybe I pretend, like, every army is, like, a person I hate. Like, oh, I hate you. I hate you, you person. But, I don't know. It's... I don't know, maybe you guys could tell me in the comments, why do you guys, I know this is a good, I, I don't usually like to bring my philosophy, or my AP Psych stuff into this recording, but why do you guys like, why do you guys play these games? Why do you guys like, this is a good, also a good question, why do you guys even like to see me? Like, gosh, I mean, <laughs> I know my, I know Let's Playing as a general job thing has been very frowned upon in our culture, but why would you guys want to specifically choose me to watch? I would never know because I'm not you guys. And I probably will never know because, oh my goodness, that's a crossing river penalty and they are both. Oh my goodness, that's a bad. Okay, let's kill off. Did you kill off all of them? Did you kill them off? That's all I'm asking you guys. I don't care about. They better all die. That's all I'm saying. They better all die. Okay, because we have to clean up all those guys and we're having reinforcements slowly trickle in from the east. I'm just leaving China to its own demise. But yeah, remember guys, please leave me in the comments so you guys can tell me. You know, might give me, I don't know. It's, I'm going to be very curious to see you guys' response. So, yeah, don't forget to comment. And right now, I'm, I'm killing a lot of these guys. And now they just, now they just turn the tables because uh, we were mainly winning because we had more numbers. But now the numbers are starting to finish. Let's see, we have Mongolia. Okay. And some more Germans are starting to come in. But I see less and less Germans, which is starting to make me think either they stopped producing men or we are slowly withering them down also Mongolia might be the first nation besides little tiny German states that I might actually get because little tiny German states are annoying oh thank you Sardinia Piedmont you guys can have military access if you guys ask for military access I will totally give it to you actually you know what Sardinia Piedmont I'm going to give you guys free military access like give military access sure dang it I would seriously, I would give you guys military access off the fly. I mean, I don't really care. If you guys are an enemy of my friends, god dang. Come on, where is my stupid defense mechanism? Ah oh, dang. Yay, we're going to use mass. We're going to use our main advantage, which is manpower, against the stupid Germans, just like most of the Russians do in many times. Okay, yeah. You see, this is what I mean. Thirteen men can hold off that many of my men. This is where the advantage point becomes just mute, because I, it would take thousands, literally thousands of men before I'd be able to defeat these guys. But Germany is also starting to become a little bit weaker. I think they've overexerted themselves, and they're starting to realize that. Um, okay, you guys go hunt down this last Chinese man. I am going to kill all those Chinese. I am not joking. I will want to see no more Chinese. No more. No more my country. Oh, great. Okay, so they're heading over there. We're going to go send more men over there. Once you guys are done with that siege, we're going to go send you guys over there. Big, gigantic battle happening over here. Okay, but we're almost done. I mean, this is like the last the last few places, which is helping which is helping the Russians. It's honestly helping the Russians starting to get their game together, which is good. We need the Russians to start getting their game together. Like, seriously, they need to get their game together. We can't be guarding Russia, we can't be guarding Russia, well we basically are guarding Russia, what am I talking about? We can't be guarding Russia and be guarding our own, the Battle of Suklov, the Battle of Tiskali. Like, why don't you guys surrender? See, that's, 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 I guess that's the main point. Like, let's see, Germany, would you guys surrender? Could I get a surrender from you guys? Probably not. From you guys. Am I the war leader? I wish I was the war leader right now. Let's see, they would not accept. I know you guys are the... They would accept that offer gladly, but they would not accept them being in cahoots. Yeah, I'm not gonna accept that, are you kidding me? But I think... I think in all honesty, we're starting to make some attempt to push back the Germans. The Germans are starting to spread themselves way too much, and we're starting to take advantage of that, which is good. And I really wish my own guys would get gas attacks! Gas attacks, get on it, stupids! Like, seriously, get on it. We don't have much time. I don't want to have all my military die before I even get to use it against the Germans. Like, that'd seriously be bad. 
Like seriously. Okay, so I'm gonna watch this battle for a second because I need to wait for that. Okay. Are they still coming? Okay. They're going that way. Everyone go that way. We will make a big gigantic battle happen here. Okay. There we go. And I have no money coming in and no money coming out. That's not good. That means I've racked up so much debt that I'm probably never going to be able to repay this. Uh, it just means I owe every country equally about the same amount. My interest isn't really that bad. That isn't that bad of interest. It just means I... <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be a long debate. If they attack... Ah, oh dang. If they were going to attack the Russians, I would have defended the Russians. Like, seriously. If they were attacking the Russians, I would have defended them. But we're starting... I think... We're starting to, like, s slowly but surely gain a, um... You know, good, nice thing happening here. I mean, I'm not sure... I mean, there's always these little fluctuations, but I'm seeing less and less Germans. That's that's all. That's that's basically where my entire premise of this is. Is I'm seeing less Germans when they're coming over here. I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping maybe that they got into some Scrabble. Oh, dang, they didn't. I'm hoping that some other nation will take advantage of this and go to war with Germany. That will crush their entire line, so that when we can go in and just demolish them. I don't know. Long live India! Long live India! Okay, so let's see, we got a big gigantic battle happening. How many, which way are they going? They're going exactly to over here. We should be able to deal with that. You guys move over here. Okay, let's see. 57 soldiers, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. Yeah, I'm almost done conquering the rest of this land so that the Germans don't, I mean the Russians don't have to worry about it anymore. And that way we can just deal with our own stuff. Like seriously, we need to... We need to deal with our own stuff, our own problems, and I wish Japan had joined in this entire war. Because look at this, my entire army is basically, holy shoot, let's retreat. 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 Shoot. No, not, no point. They just destroyed my entire army because my, um, oh wait, wait, I could still possibly win this. I just have to pull my troops in. This could possibly turn the tide of the battle. How good are you? Oh, shoot, you guys are terrible at morale. What do I teach you in my military schools? Okay, um, you guys, go around here and then go right there. These are decent men, so they should do decently. And my we are going... Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I think I've racked up so much debt in the game that they just, like, stopped counting it against me. The Battle of Sekrov, yes! Okay, okay, yeah, as you guys can see, we are slowly starting to turn the tide. I am not losing this area of land like I refuse to we can lose a lot of other areas of land but this is my area I will not let the Germans we are not letting the Germans pass anymore through here over here is a different story because I don't think I could defend this area but over here we could definitely try to defend with all of our might with all of our hearts with just as much as we can now if you guys could seriously invent gas attacks we could have the swellest of times I'm not even joking guys we could have the swellest of times you guys just need to get on it. Like, what are my scientists doing? Sitting around eating coffee? Drinking coffee? Eating coffee? I mean, gosh, if they're eating coffee, that means they're definitely doing it wrong. Ugh. I don't know what happened there, but hope we killed them a lot. Okay. You guys go right there. You guys go help these guys. I mean, we're almost done with China. China's about to go into a big, gigantic rebellion, though. I'm not really caring, though. I'm just like, yeah, they, 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 their rebellions just aren't worth my manpower. I have more important things to deal with than China's. Okay, let's start spreading out. Let's just, okay, if I go right here, I basically got the entire rest of this coast down. Okay, gonna go send some more down, more defense down here. Okay, I think, I think we basically got the situation under control. Like, I think we got it under control, and we're starting to push a little bit back against the Germans. Really have to deal with this, though. This is really scary. Like, if this was to suddenly come after me, I think I'd be really scared. Uh, go kill these guys. Please, go kill them. The only people I have protecting my land over here is these guys, but these guys aren't very good. I'm hoping these guys will have a revolt and just kill themselves. And I have this army over here that hasn't been able to help because we had... Oh my goodness. These Russian... Oh, man. Please tell me those Russian rebellions. Maybe, maybe that's why they're getting weaker. Maybe the Russians are starting to, like, deal with their own rebellions. And it's having to, like... Okay, let's see. 
China, let's see, anymore, where are they going? They're going to SA. You know what I say, SA? Okay, let's see. Any more Chinese? I think that was the last Chinese men. Yes! Glory to the empire of my existence. Now we got all of China defeated. China has officially been turned about. And we're basically doing a gigantic stop to the Russian, to the, to the gigantic uh, plan of, uh, of, um, Germany by doing whatever we can to stop them. It doesn't sound like the most appropriate and smart plan, but you know what? It's the plan we have, and you know what? That's the best plan we have. So, it's, it's really a matter of don't criticize the plan, just deal with it. Because we don't have any other plan. We don't have any gas attacks. If we had gas attacks right now, this would be going so much differently. I'm not even, I'm not even joking, guys. Like, if we had gas attacks, this would be going so much differently. Hope, yeah, I'm making somebody go up there, so. And right now, we have a decent amount of soldiers around here. I may start advancing the front just one by one, you know, trinklet by trinklet. Start advancing back all the way to Germany. Because once we get right here, I think my troops will be able to handle whatever German forces are over there. Whew. We just have to hope we can handle this. Okay, you guys go down here. You guys are still hunting down them. Okay. You guys are... We're going all the way... Okay, yeah. You guys go right there. Okay? There we go. I think we're conquering the last of their land. We still have more army men than the Germans do. Just barely, though. Just barely. I mean... If it all comes down to it, we still have a bigger army than they do. So... We do, like, they may have gas attacks, but we do have a bigger army than them. So it's kind of like, you know what I mean, guys? It's kind of like, yeah, they do have a major advantage over us in some ways, but in most ways, we're still better. The problem is, though, is that this entire force is not acceptable, and they're going to move into my land with ferocity of a tiger. And I won't be able to stop them, because I have just way too many problems as it is guarding my land to guard against a force like this. I'm hoping maybe, what I'm hoping is that these guys will actually move upwards and then try to go take on this place. In fact, I think I'm going to start pulling back some of my men so I have some way of defense to go fight against these guys. And right now, I'm just observing the entire line to make sure that I'm containing the German advance. Because that's really what we want to do. We want to first contain them and then once they are weak enough, we want to start poking at their weaknesses and start using them against them. Because my men are almost done. My men have almost finished up with all their conquest over here in northern, in this really just cold land. Yeah, I, I, I can't describe it any other way. This this is not luscious green land. It's very cold and maybe green sometimes land. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But it's very much a... It's very much we have to do this. This is very much a we better not fail this. Because if we fail this, the Russians are dead. Like, we are basically the Russia's last hope. They, they know it, too. They must know we are their last hope. If we fail in our endeavors, they are not coming back. Like, we are trying our hardest. We are not giving up anywhere. We haven't given up land. We haven't... Oh, great. Now it's starting to spawn. Fascists! Oh, great. We can't... I cannot deal with the fascists right now. I can't even... Oh, my goodness. Okay. That must be what's spawning over here to keep the Germans... Oh, my goodness. They have a much bigger army. Yeah, they're gonna have most of their army start. Yes! Can defend against gas attacks! Yes! 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 Oh yeah! Now look who doesn't have an advantage, so now all I have to do is just wait. I just have to wait for them to attack me, and then we can slowly start. Guys! Guys! We turn the- We turn the tide! The tide of the war has changed! We did it! Our scientists finally figured out how to do gas attacks! Thank you, scientist. You guys are not use useless after all. And we're gonna just, we're just gonna move all our forces to here. Here comes. This is definitely like World War One. Like this is like what World War One is. You know, we are stranded. We are in the clutches. This is just like the clutch events. I mean, anywhere they attack, I have instant defenses against. I am ready for whatever they attack. Cause now since I have gas attack defenses. There is not much they can really do now. If they move all the way down here and go through here, this might be the best option for them. Like, to be honest with you, if I was smart, I would be using this as the main advantage point to go take over more stuff. But, that's not what I want them to do. 
because that'd be very smart and I don't want the AI to be smart okay let's see have we conquered back everything we're almost there keep moving men keep moving men to the new front I'm gonna start distributing them so we can start conquering I'm gonna wait until we get some gas attack capabilities of our own before I completely attack but now since we have this we should be I'm waiting for some battles come on guys oh they better not have lost we better not have lost and played war and demeteries No, Russia, please tell me you didn't play War and Demeteries. Please tell me you didn't play War and Demeteries. Please tell me you didn't play War and Demeteries. Uh, demobilize. We'll find out in a second if we played War and Demeteries. Because I could not... If if we have to get uh, national, including interest, military spending, total... Total rich strata terror stockpile total incoming total debt uh, comma okay so I have that much debt but I'm not sure if we just won that war um I'm just gonna move all my men down to Calcutta and we're just gonna deal with it from there but um wow that, that was almost perfect guys I want to thank you guys for watching that was the final event of this war I don't know if I won though I'm gonna reopen up all my factories and do we always have armor divisions no I'm, I'm dirt poor I'm gonna have to pay back all my loans but I want to thank you guys for watching that was an exciting episode I don't even know if we won the war or not like did we did we not okay I'm gonna have to go back to like I probably only could do about 80% taxes because I need to do at least a thousand eighty percent and then eighty percent yeah I could do eighty percent taxes um I, I don't know if we're winning if I, I don't doesn't seem like we have any money coming in and no money coming out so did this just end in a gigantic stalemate Huh. Well, I destroyed China. That's the good thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to comment and subscribe next time. Okay, guys. This is probably going to be tacked on at the very end of this episode. But I want to get you guys' opinion before I do this. Okay? So, as you guys know, we just ended this big gigantic war and we don't know what happened we don't know if we lost or won or whatever happened okay or at least that's what I thought okay guys I went back I went back and figured out a way that I could tell if I won the war or not and the basically the only way I could tell if I won the war or not is by my prestige now before the war happened I had a certain amount of prestige and what I did was I looked through the videos and looked to see what my prestige was and see if it went up or down so Let's just see. I want to see my prestige right now compared to the other countries. Oh, my goodness. Germany, man. You guys got destroyed. Destroyed. But, yeah. So, you know, I'm pretty... Dang, Germany. Um, you know, I'm pretty like... I'm pretty like... I was pretty excited about this. I was like, you know, at the most, we probably got white peace with them. And, you know, this was going to happen. That was going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. You wanna know what happened, guys? You wanna know what happened? You, are you ready for this? Ready for this? I'm gonna keep this about five minutes short. We lost! We beepin' lost! Like, flat out! The Russians just surrendered! The Russians just surrendered! Said, oh, we're done! We're done! After... After I had cleverly put a gigantic line, after we had just started to push back, after I just invented the technology to defeat the Germans, they start doing this! They just did a stupid mistake! They just did a stupid beeping mistake! Now I'm paying war indemnitaries to another country. Why? All because of them. All because of the stupid Russians. It's asinine. It, it's honestly asinine. We were winning. Why, why did you retreat? Why did you just do that? Why did you just cause me pain? We were winning. We were going to win. We were having the winning streak. We had conquered all of China. 
where the heck was the strategic value in that? Seriously, where the heck was the strategic value in that? And yes, I am going a little bit ahead, guys, because I was, like, really stoic, like, thinking, okay, you know, we lost, but at least we lost with dignity and all that kind of stuff. Th 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 that doesn't make any sense. That, that doesn't make any little bit of sense. You had your capital loss, yes. But there have been many countries, France, that have lost their capital, France, that have really been able to function without it. France! I'm putting very much emphasis on the French part, guys. Um, but why? Why would the AI do that? I, I don't, don't tell me in the comments why, because it's like, oh yeah, I know why. But why? We had conquered all of China. We were going to be pushing back the Germans here soon. The Germans only had a few forces left. I mean, look at them. <sighs> The worst part about it is, is that my...